how you guys so today is wednesday it's about 2 30. i'm getting ready to film the last two videos before the vegan pet sitter channel launch on friday um i feel like this might be a little bit confusing because you're watching this video on saturday so by the time this video is posted you will have maybe seen the channel launch already or if not it'll be up and you can watch it now Penzone's just washing his hands in the background. That's good. That's something we should all be doing. Anyway, I feel like my voice sounds weird. It's because I don't talk to anybody anymore. I'm just locked inside the house all the time. So I thought I would make a little vlog and kind of talk about the next couple of days leading up to the channel launch and how it goes and kind of what I had planned. I can't. This cat. Hang on, let me get you guys a close-up. Hey, Benson. I'm sure there's also going to be a lot of, like, learning as I go and, like, winging it. I like to think that I kind of know what I'm doing now, that I have this channel under my belt. But the Vegan Pet Sitter channel is a little bit different. I feel like even though it's pets, which is kind of a casual subject, I feel like it should be a little bit more professional. Um, this channel tends to be a little more casual. Like, for example, on the Vegan Pet Sitter channel, I might not show my cat licking his butt in the background. I don't know. I might. They're, those are pet people. They probably <laughs> they probably understand. Penzone, can you do that later? Anyway, uh, there was actually a video that I filmed uh, a few days ago. Actually, it was maybe more like a week or two ago for the Vegan Pet Sitter channel. And I just decided I really didn't like how it came out. I thought I found a great spot to film in my living room. And I ended up not liking it for a couple of reasons. One being that like you could see my entire living room in the background. And even though it was clean, it just seemed a little bit too casual. Um, it probably would have been fine for this channel or for a vlog. But for the Vegan Pet Sitter and for like the topic, it was like an informative video. Um, I didn't think it really worked. Another reason is the sound was not that good. And um, I don't know, I think I've mentioned this before, but I use a Canon G7X. And I'm not always happy with the audio that I get from this camera. Uh, it doesn't really have a hookup for an external microphone. Uh, at some point in the next year or so, I would like to upgrade. I'm looking at the Canon M50. Okay, I'm just going to try to continue and not get distracted by my cat's lewd behavior. Anyway, I would like to upgrade to the Canon M50 at some point. Right now, it's not in my budget. Uh, I'm glad I have the G7X. It's like a really lightweight, like easy to use point and shoot camera. But I do think that uh, upgrading my camera, hopefully not too far in the future, will be worth the investment and kind of upgrade the quality of my videos. Because yeah, in the video that I ended up deleting, uh, there was a little bit of echo and I've noticed this happens sometimes when I'm like at Disneyland filming the Dapper Dance. Another reason I didn't like that video is because I was wearing a lot more makeup than I usually do in my videos and it had been a few hours at that point. I had already filmed I think three videos and like you could tell and I just I didn't like it. And I don't know, I guess just based on it being a new channel and also that it's representing the vegan pet sitter, I would kind of like people to see like what I actually look like on a regular basis or what I look like when I'm at work. That just made more sense to me, so I'm going to go ahead and like reshoot that video like this. So I don't really have too much to say today. Um, this video, like I said, is going to be over the next couple of days. I also don't want to be too long-winded in this segment because I want to save my energy for the other two videos that I have to film. But I kind of did want to explain uh, kind of my strategy for launching that channel. I don't know if you can see, but I have like blisters on my fingers from trying to put together an Ikea desk, which I had been posting about on Facebook and on uh, Instagram. And you'll probably, I will probably have a vlog about this desk also. I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> there it is. One day that desk will, will stand <laughs> and be usable. I actually, 
I actually had it planned that I was going to film some vegan pet sitter videos at that desk and obviously that's not happening. That was like one of the bumps in the road. Like, you know, part of my reasoning for starting the vegan pet sitter channel right now is like, well, I'm at home. I'm not working. I don't have classes to go to. I have all the time in the world to just focus on this channel. Like what could go wrong? And then like between the plumbing thing, um, which I just realized I didn't tell you about. But basically, to make a long story short, I've had plumbing issues kind of for the past three weeks, like dragging on. Thankfully, they haven't been like too serious, but there have been times when either I had people working in my house or I couldn't like take a shower and wash my hair and stuff. And that's kind of been like part of what has delayed filming those other videos. Anyway. I'm also kind of realizing like the light in here is changing a lot. It's kind of an overcast, like cloudy day today. And I think I actually just recently bought a ring light. So I'm probably gonna try to set that up um, before I film those videos. I, I had posted about it. So just an update, like I ended up getting a ring light from Mount Dog and I don't remember off the top of my head what the price was, but I'll put it like down here and I'll put a link in the description box to the one that I got. Anyway, I don't want this video, whoa. I don't, I don't want this video to be too rambly and I feel like I've already gone off on like five different tangents, but I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an outline of my strategy for launching the Vegan Pet Sitter channel. Um, one thing that I wanted to do was have five videos before I launched and made everything public. And the reason for that is I just didn't want someone to come across one video randomly and watch it and be like, hey, I kind of like this. I wonder what else is going on in this channel and then click it and see nothing. And then like, they're not convinced that they should subscribe. And I feel like personally, if I see a video that I like 100% love, even if there's no other content on the channel, I will subscribe because I want to see the next video. But some of my videos, I feel like, and I'm not trying to knock my videos that haven't even been published yet, but I feel like they might not I feel like I'm trying to figure out a way to explain this in a way that's like polite to myself, but like I feel like one video might not stand alone in a way that's gonna kind of grab people and make them realize that they should subscribe. Hopefully that makes sense. I really just want people to kind of see the bigger picture and see what they're getting before they decide whether they wanna subscribe or not. And then the other part of my strategy, which like literally it is the other part this is like a two-part strategy it's not that it's not that complicated um is that i was hoping to get to 100 subscribers so i've been kind of i posted a couple of videos unlisted on my channel and i've been kind of sharing them around with like friends and family and on my facebook page and i've been posting them kind of as a teaser in a couple of different facebook groups that i'm in and last time i checked i think i was at like 90 something subscribers so i think we'll get there and my reasoning behind that was kind of the same. I didn't want people to like come across one video and see that my channel had like six subscribers and like not even bother to look at the rest of it because they're like, oh, nobody really likes this channel. So hopefully seeing that there are already people subscribed might make people more likely to check out the rest of it and be interested in subscribing. Um, so I think that's all I want to say right now. I'm going to go record those other videos. I'm going to set up that ring light. I'm having trouble telling like how dark it is in here, but I feel like adding a little bit of extra light won't hurt. So, okay. So, uh, see you in a little bit. A few moments later. Okay, so I was about to flip out because I opened this case and all that was in here was this light. And I thought they forgot to send me the tripod and that seems like exactly the kind of thing that would happen this week. But the tripod, there's like a separate little hiding box that's down here. So it's, I'm assuming it, I'm hoping it is in there. Okay, so another moment of confusion. First of all, this thing was really easy to set up, um, which I appreciate. Um, I tend to get frustrated easily when I can't put things together. Take my Ikea desk, for example, but um, so I open this and there's supposed to be a little thing here to attach your camera or phone and there was nothing, but there is like more stuff. There is more stuff inside of the carrying case. So that I'm assuming is in here. So it comes up a little remote. Um, these have to be, or I guess this is probably the part to put the camera on. I don't really know what this is, but these seem like the pieces that might get confusing. Um, 
So yeah, I don't know. I am happy with it. I like how it looks. No, we don't like that. No, no, no. What? I just recorded a whole thing and I realized my camera was not turned on because I was filming with my phone. Anyway, I am happy with how this looks. I just need to kind of adjust it a little bit and figure out where I'm going to film and that's it. Okay, so update. My foot is asleep. Um, I just filmed one video for the vegan pet sitter. I think I'm going to just do one and edit it because, um, which by the way, this is the ring light. Um, I want to see what this footage looks like, if I'm going to like it or not. I feel like I will, but I also feel like, oh, my foot's really asleep. <laughs> I also feel like the lighting's a little bit dramatic. I don't know, before, it's a little bit too dark to just film with natural light right now, but, like, just a few minutes before that got too dark, I actually really liked how the tripod looked with just natural light. So I might do the other video that way tomorrow, but I don't know. I'm going to go edit the footage that I just filmed and see what I think of it. And if I like it, I'll do it this way. If I don't like it, I'll do it the other way. Um, I also just added to my Amazon wish list like a photo backdrop kind of thing. I think it's like 40 bucks. I might just buy it for myself, but I put it on my Amazon wish list just in case anyone's feeling generous um, because just filming the video I just filmed. Like now I'm standing, but like I was sitting and the Ikea desk <laughs> is right there. And I tried to like position myself. So I was blocking the part that was showing and I think I did okay, but I think it also might've popped up in a couple of parts of the video. So yeah, I think the backdrop might be a good investment. Also, I'm realizing that I feel awkward when I'm on the Vegan Pet Sitter channel and I do not feel awkward on this channel. It just, it feels like I'm at a job interview or something and like I want to make a good first impression. And it's weird because I felt that way at the beginning of this channel and I thought that by having this experience and by being comfortable in front of the camera on my channel that that would just automatically translate over to the new channel and I would be totally comfortable, but that's not how it's happening. Like literally as soon as I finished filming the vegan pet sitter video and switched over to this one like I felt the tension leave my body like I feel more relaxed and I feel like I'm just talking to my buddy maybe that's what I need to picture when I'm over there is just imagine that I'm saying these things to a friend which I feel like is good advice and I've given that advice to people especially when you don't have any subscribers and you don't know like who your audience is and who you're talking to just imagine that you are talking to a friend so I will keep that advice, my own advice in mind for next time. Um, I'm going to go look at that footage and hopefully it's not terrible and I don't have to reshoot it again. Hopefully I am pleasantly surprised, but I feel like maybe it was bad. Okay, anyway, I will see you. This video will continue tomorrow. I will see you next in a second. I feel weird saying bye at the end of each clip because I don't want anyone to like think the video is over. This video is not over until we get to Friday. The video is not over until the channel is launched, so stay tuned. I don't remember what I've told you yet. Just casually pulling up my pants. I don't know when I'm filming, I just kind of say things and then immediately forget what I just said. So editing a vlog that's like several days long is definitely gonna be interesting, but I just wanted to check in really quick. I just filmed video three for the Vegan Pet Sitter channel, which is about, which is about, it's about the exhibit that I keep calling by the wrong name and I'm really proud of myself that I hopefully got through the actual video calling it the right name. I keep calling it the science of dogs, but it's actually called Dogs a Science Tale. Anyway, I filmed that. Should I turn this light on? Is it probably, is it better if I turn this on? Oh God. 
Anyway, I filmed that video and then I ordered Postmates because I've noticed I have a tendency when I'm hungry, I, I get to a point where I have to repeat the same, I stumble over my words more and then I have to repeat the thing that I just said like 20 times to get it right. And I could feel that like starting to happen. So I just ordered Postmates. And then I made an Instagram post about this shirt and how I feel like it's a Justin's Guard costume. It's not just a regular t-shirt. Like I think that I can incorporate it into my wardrobe and have it be normal, but it just makes me feel like I'm trying to dress like Justin's Guard. Like three seconds after I made that post, I spilt smoothie on myself, which I guess, I mean, I was gonna change my shirt, but you only see, I could, feel, I have one more video to film. It's the fourth video and it's about taking your pet to the vet during coronavirus. So I guess I could still film it since you only see like from here up, but what if I accidentally like back up or something and then it shows, I'm just gonna change just to be safe. Um, that's all I wanna say for now and then I will probably check in later. Right now it's 1.40 and I'm trying to, the fifth video is already up and scheduled to premiere at 5.30 and I still have to edit the video I just filmed. The, the footage from the exhibit itself is already done, so I just have to edit the part of me talking, and then I have to film and edit the fourth video, which I don't think will be too long or complicated. I'm gonna try to not repeat myself and do the thing where I second guess everything that I just said and like say the same thing 20 different ways, and then I have to go through and edit like the best parts because I've just filmed 40 minutes of me talking for like a five minute video. I'm gonna try not to do that and I'm gonna try to get through it all in as few takes as possible. So hopefully I can just get through it quickly and post it up because I would like to get the first four videos up and posted by like 4.30 because the way they're gonna show up on my page is the order that they were posted. So basically if that fifth video premieres at 5.30 and I don't have the other videos public yet, it's gonna show up like that was my first video when really the first video that I filmed and posted and made it unlisted is called like intro. So I don't want that to be after. Like I want the intro video to show up first and then I want them to show up in the order that I meant for them to be. So like as long as the videos are good, whatever else happens doesn't really matter. I'm also kind of realizing that if things don't go exactly as planned, literally no one's gonna know except for me. Like I have I have things that I would like to get done today, but if they don't, I'm gonna be the only one who knows because I haven't shared this plan widely. Like <laughs> nobody's gonna be watching me with like a microscope and saying like, oh, you messed up. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Monday, May the 4th. That's why I'm wearing my Star Wars spirit jersey. I got this from a client who went to Walt Disney World and asked me what spirit jersey I wanted. And so she brought me back this one and I got it after my annual pass expired. So I haven't actually been able to wear it to the parks yet. So I figured I would wear it today for Star Wars Day. Anyway, I'm gonna make this quick, but uh, yes, the channel launched. I thought I was gonna film myself like actually launching it and have that be part of the vlog, but like the process was so stupid. <laughs> like I didn't, I was not prepared. Like I had planned to have everything ready to go by I think it was 5.30 and that time got pushed back twice. I think the first time it was to seven and then it ended up actually getting posted at eight. So I did like the YouTube premiere thing, which is kind of fun. Like I've done that on this channel once. It's basically like there's a little countdown to the video premiere and then like people can join the chat and like I'm in the chat and like people are in there chatting. So that was really fun. Um, I am actually coming up on my one year anniversary of this channel, I think on the 24th, May 24th, somewhere around there. So I was thinking about making a video of like mistakes I made in my first year of YouTube and stuff like that, things that people can hopefully learn from. So I might save some of this stuff for that video. One thing I did wanna mention though is to celebrate the Vegan Pet Sitter channel launch, I'm actually doing a giveaway on Instagram. If you are a cat person, if you live with cats, if you work with cats, 
um, if you have cats in your life and your family and your extended family and you want to understand them better like this is like something you absolutely need to read there's a cat hair on my book so I'm giving away an autographed copy of Total Cat Mojo by Jackson Galaxy. This is actually my autographed copy. I don't know if you can see with the light, but I think this is really cool to have. I love Jackson Galaxy. And then this is the copy that I'm giving away. So I will put a link to the post about the contest in the description box. I'm going to run it for like two weeks, so hopefully everyone who wants to enter will get a chance to. So if you want to enter, just find the post in the description box or you can just go to the Vegan Pet Sitters Instagram account. And that's all I want to say. I know this is a little bit longer than my usual videos lately, so if you stuck around, thanks. I also wanted to say thank you to my supporters on Patreon. I've got a couple new patrons this month and people who've sent donations via like PayPal. And some of these donations, I'm fully aware, are not for me. They're for Penzone. Like people have been concerned about Penzone own and his health issues especially being that I'm not working right now and my income is like teeny tiny so the donations are really helping with vet bills I also just kind of rearranged my patreon page and added some new perks and took some perks off that like didn't seem like they were working so if you've ever wanted to check it out now might be a good time and if there are any perks that you would like me to add uh, let me know um, and the last thing I wanted to mention, like the last thank you, was the backdrop that I actually mentioned earlier in the video the backdrop that I wanted to cover the desk which would have made which would have probably made my Q&A video look a little bit better if this wasn't showing and one of my clients Toby the cat and his family uh, had that sent to me so it's on its way still I don't have it yet but I should have it pretty soon okay so I'm gonna stop talking now I'll put the patreon link down below also thank you for supporting in any way even if that's just by watching liking and subscribing and I will see you next time